Good day to all of you, Panthers, students, parents, and welcome again to my art studio. This, of course, is Mr. Coughlin, and I am, as mentioned, in my art studio, and we will be talking about our next art project that we will be performing that is now posted here on the Edmodo site, and let's go over a few things. But before we go over those things, there's something that I need to mention from my heart, firstly and mostly of all. I wish to express my um, deepest gratitude and appreciation for all those students and particularly parents who have sent me, sent me notes and gifts and cards and things thanking me in light of Teacher Appreciation Week. It really makes my job feel all the more meaningful. Um, as I have 471 students on my roll, it's quite a lot of students to keep track of and quite a lot of artwork. So when I receive your well wishes in terms of your thoughts and your gifts and your cards, um, really feel greatly appreciated. So if the term thank you still means what it means when it was originally created, I want to express to you the term thank you in the form that it meant when it was originally created. So uh, thank you um, from my heart. Okay, so we need to move forward here. I'm just going to look at my notes again. You might see me refer to this one or two times. Um, you should, students, by this time be finished, be have completed your collage or be finishing your collage, excuse me, and I will show you how to upload that into a folder here very momentarily. The new project, however, is about the Dutch artist named Vincent van Gogh. Come a little bit closer and take a look at this because I posted this note this morning on Vincent van Gogh. And there's a little bit to read here. It's not too much. A fifth grader can read this in about a minute or less. Um, if you're in second or third grade, you wanna, you may want to ask your parents to help you read this because some of the words are kind of big and I'm sure your parents will like enjoy knowing a little bit more about Vincent van Gogh. So read this. It's already posted here um, below this post on or below the post on Edmodo and get to understand who Vincent van Gogh was. So when we move forward with the new project, you will be understanding what you need to know so you can produce your project. Okay, along with this photo, this, this, you will see a photo posted on Enmodo of this work by Vincent van Gogh. This of course is a black and white. His real photo, his real artwork was done in color. This particular painting is called Starry Night. It's a very wonderfully and beautiful painting. I happened to go to New York one day to see it. It's in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And if you ever go there, you might find out that there's going to be a crowd of people around just looking at this painting for hours. And that really is the case. It was the case when I was there and it still is the case. So. Um, I also took a photo, a real interesting photo, of Dr. Armando Espinosa that I want to show you. Let me just find it here. Here it is. Um, I arrive real early in the mornings to school. Sometimes the moon is still out. And after I signed in at the office one morning, I was walking back to the art studio and look what I saw. I know this is in black and white, but take a look at the moon. This is, of course, the moon, and this is the art studio, the art suite, if you will. I'm certain everybody here is familiar with the art suite. But this was real early in the morning. Most of you guys were still sleeping when I took this photo. and um, But by the time you arrived, I had prepared my art lessons. The reason I mention it is because, for some reason, it kind of reminded me of Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night work. And if you look a little bit closer, what I did, let me make sure I'm showing you the right painting. Yes, what I did was I took this photo and Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night and I kind of put them together. I put our school, Dr. Orlando Espinosa, 
and I change this guy, which is by the way already beautiful. I change this guy for Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night photo to make it look like our school was painted by Vincent Van Gogh on a starry night. So here's what you're going to need to do. For the next project, students, you will need to draw and color your the place where you live, your home, with a starry night. Like the starry night of Vincent Van Gogh that is, is here above the photo of Dr. Alana Espinosa Art Suites. So if you know what your home looks like, you can draw it and then paint a starry night above your house at night, almost like you're laying in bed and you're dreaming. It's a very starry, starry night out and the wind is blowing and making some howling noises and the moon is shining and it's almost like you're in somewhat of a dream. Okay, so you're going to be drawing and painting your home like it's a starry night outside. Now, as I mentioned, you can draw your home. However, if you're not certain what your home exactly looks like, if it's a building, an apartment, or a house, whatever it is, you can ask one of your parents to take a photo of it in day or night time, it doesn't matter. But do not, I want to expressly say this to all students and all parents, I am not granting any student any permission to go outside and photograph their home. Parents, you're welcome to do so if you wish to do so, so your child has a reference to draw from so that they can do that. We won't see the actual photo. After you photo it, we will just see the artwork that is produced. So you're going to be drawing your home and painting a starry, starry night. It doesn't need to be identical to Vincent Van Gogh's work. This will be posted or is posted here on the Emoto site along with this, okay? You can use this as a reference. That means as an example, you can change this guy around. You're an artist. You can decide what you want to do in a creative way and I suggest that you do that. So. Draw, first of all, your house, and then paint a starry night on it. Now, let's talk about how we're going to do this. Second graders, all that you need to have to do this is a piece of paper and some colored pencils, okay? Second graders, you just need to use some colored pencils and you will be fine. Draw your house and color the sky with some colored pencils and everything will work just fine and well. I will accept that. Third graders, you need to at least use markers, okay? Markers, third graders. Got it? This happens to be a set of 240, but you can just have eight if you want. That will be plenty of colors. Eight is just fine. Fourth grade, you can use markers or if you want, pastels. This is pastel or watercolor, this is paint, okay? You can use any one of those, markers, paint, or these paints. If you don't have this stuff and you can't get it because your parents just can't get it for you, I understand. Just do your best to use either color pencils or crayons and color your work. In fact, if any student doesn't have some of the materials, you're not gonna get marked down because you don't have materials. I will accept it as long as it's colorized. Okay, some form of color, I'm sure you can at least have crayons. Now, let's talk to the fifth graders. Fifth graders, hello, this is Mr. Coughlin, you're our teacher. You can, if you wish, and I hope that you do wish, get what's known as a canvas. This is an art canvas. You can get it on the net. Um, one of the very kind and generous parents at Dr. Armando Espinosa told me, they messaged me, that um, indicating that this canvas and these art materials, uh, you can order them online and pick them up curbside at Michael's. So you can either order this online, one of this, this is 
Um, no, not sure of the dimensions, but it's something like 12 by 16, okay, or 14 by 16. Just something this size is just fine. You can see the size based on, you know, its reference to me. This will be fine, so you can um, draw your home here and then paint with paints a starry night over the top of your home. Now, you can use this type of paint. This is an acrylic, okay? It's a water base. It's child safe. Uh, parents, if you would like to be in proximity to your child when they're using this, these paints, you are welcome to do so. Here are some different type of brushes that you can use, okay? These are the brushes that I use. You're gonna use these brushes after you do this. You simply take a washable paper, newspaper or plate, a disposable plastic plate, put some color on it, dip your paintbrush in it, and start working. It's pretty much that simple, okay? So this is not a big, big situation where you have to, you know, spend five years doing it. In fact, it should just take you a day or two to complete this assignment. So, second graders, all you need to use is colored pencils or crayons. That's completely fine with me. Third graders, at least use colored markers. Fourth graders, if you can move up to pastels or watercolor, that's fine. Fifth grade, you can move up to paint. Oh, and by the way, look at this really nice set of paints that I have here. You can get a box like this if you really choose to do so. As I mentioned, you will not be marked down for materials, and also you won't be marked up for better materials because we want to um, make sure that everybody is treated equally. Okay, now, before we go any further, there's some questions that I want to make sure that everybody understands the answers to. Here's what I did. You will be seeing in the coming days a folder called Portfolio. This will be appearing here on the Edmodo site. Well, you're on YouTube now, but you will see it on the Edmodo site, and it will simply be entitled Portfolio. If you have finished your collage, let me find it here, your collage, when you finish your, let me find it here too, you see how many papers I have? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you finish your collage, you can put, you can take a photo, oh, you can create a document in Microsoft Word, for example. If you don't know how to do that, ask your parents. Just create a Microsoft Word document or a PDF document, either one. I'm gonna make this so simple that it's so simple. On the top of it, you're going to write your name, your student number, and your homeroom teacher. Okay, your name, student number, and homeroom teacher. You must have this information there, name, student number, homeroom teacher. Then put your photo of your collage here, okay? On the next page, put your starry night of your home, photo of it. And if you still need to turn in your portraiture work, put in uh, a photo of your portrait onto there. Then you will be taking this one document. This is one document, one, one document. And you will be simply putting this document with this information into the portfolio folder, okay? It's going to go just like that. So really all you have to do is make one more upload, just one more, and you're going to be finished, which is, yay, great, right? So let's just go over what we talked about today, and then... Um, We'll let you get back to work on your projects. Number one, um, we are moving forward past our collage project. We are now working on a starry night project where we are going to be painting, drawing first and then painting a starry night over our homes. Remember, don't go outside and photograph your house. Ask your parents to do that. When you have completed all of these assignments and if you need to make up Remember, I say make up your portfolio, excuse me, your portrait assignment. Only make up. This is only for makeup. If you need to make this up, 
you're going to assemble all of these into one document and insert them into the portfolio folder. Got that? It should be real easy. So that should take you just some minutes to do, I think six or seven minutes at the most to make this document and put it in the folder. This folder will appear in a few days. I will just be giving students some time to start working and finish working on their Starry Night um, artwork, their Starry Night project. And once I think there's been enough time for students to, you know, have finished some of their paintings, this folder will soon appear. So you don't have to message me. You don't have to email me. I assure you that you will see a folder that says portfolio on it and then you just put everything in there and you will, you will receive all grades. Keep in mind one thing, we studied about the elements of art so you will be getting grades for some of the elements of art in the grade book. Remember those videos about elements of art? If you didn't see the elements of art videos, scroll down a little bit further, you'll see some videos about elements of art. If you didn't see the portraiture video, scroll down a little bit more, click on them and see photos of me drawing a subject for a portraiture. Get everything together and put it into your portfolio. Okay? Um, in conclusion, I'd like to say that again, uh, parents, thank you so very much kindly for, from my heart. Uh, if the words thank you still hold the meaning that they uh, meant when it was originally created, I mean thank you in terms of the way thank you was meant when it was originally created. It's very supportive of you parents to offer me your kindness, your help, your generosity. I know that you have considerations to manage in your own lives and when you reach out to me and thank me for all the things that I'm doing, it's it's really heartwarming, so thank you. Um, students, prepare to finish up your artwork. Uh, prepare to make a very charming and beautiful and dreamy night sky over your home. And always, of course, remember to be very, very creative.